Well, this is the latest version of the Qcurrent C1 Pro compared to its predecessor. I'm going to explain and basically what's different between this and the old version. We're also going to be doing the hill test, brake test, speed test. I'm going to also talk about the overall quality of this electric scooter. Towards the end of the video as well, I'm going to be basically giving my opinion on who it's for. Is it worth the value of the actual scooter itself as a whole what's good about it what could be improved upon and also if the scooter is not suited for you towards the end of the video don't worry i'm going to be giving you alternatives also so stick around and do enjoy the video any questions comment below First hill test on the second version of Kukirin's C1 Pro. It has a few good features. 48 volt, 26 amp hour battery that I'll talk about later in the video. But first of all, we need to see what it's like actually going up a hill. Performance is actually quite good on this. Good bit of torque from actually that rear motor that if I'm not mistaken seems improved compared to the latest, not the latest, compared to the first version of the C1 Pro. Climb that hill, no problem. That hill is around 10 degrees. Handling on this scooter is actually quite good because you do have 14 inch pneumatic tires, plus, you have front suspension, and the handlebars are nice and comfortable and actually a really good width. I'll talk about the design of the scooter, I'll talk about the comfort, I'll talk about the value, who it's for in a few minutes but we just need to see what kind of top speed we can get now in a second handlebars as well on this model are completely adjustable which is great so it's suitable for most people who are like tall or small it doesn't really matter it will suit you of course this is a seated electric scooter so you have three gears one two and three on this you have a very small led display you have a very loud horn as well Okay, let's do a speed test gear three. We are of course on a full charge. Tires are pumped to the maximum. Let's go, we are at 40 kilometers already. 41. 41 kilometers an hour on this. So yeah, I'm actually quite happy with that. You will get 45 if you are a lighter rider. But for me, I'm like 83, 84 kilograms. And with all my gear right now, I'm actually probably around 86, 87 kilograms. And there is a bit of wind coming towards me. But going 40 kilometers an hour is quite decent. But let's talk about the battery. It's a 48 volt. And get this. This ain't a 18 amp hour battery. Or a 20 amp hour battery. This is a 26 amp hour battery. That is on this nice big huge deck here. Where there's plenty of space for my feet very very comfortable indeed and you can get a range of up to 100 kilometers from this battery so even if you're going the higher top speed like i am now which is the around 40 kilometers an hour you'd probably actually get on a full charge around up to i'd say 50 kilometer on one full charge of course if you're going on gear one or two you would get more so for that reason the speed and battery are more than acceptable on a scooter like this it also has quite surprisingly really good standard mechanical disc braking so if i just show you here we're going to top speed right now if you need to stop straight away stop straight away like this brakes are actually really really good on it i've had bad mechanical disc brakes on many electric scooters in the past and these are actually quite good plus the discs are actually quite large on those 14 inch new matic tires that actually have a really really good trend a good thing as well is suspension on this doesn't make actually a lot of noise it's generally quite smooth overall so i'm actually quite happy with the suspension maneuverability very easy because the scooter in my opinion ain't actually that heavy at all so i'm quite happy now of course you might be saying hang on this scooter comes with mirrors yes it does come with mirrors but i think they're not the best mirrors because you can't really like adjust them properly you know you kind of have to get the right angle but they do look kind of funny on the scooter and don't get me wrong i'm still trying to adjust them you do get looks on this scooter but i found with mirrors on e-bike scooters they are not the best at all because they do vibrate as you are riding 
so you can't really get a clear picture. So I am going to be reviewing the PidZoom helmet mirror that I got to review, which is supposed to be excellent. So definitely keep an eye out for that video that will be coming quite soon. It does actually have a solid wooden deck on this. Very comfortable, it seems really good quality. I'll talk about the seat in a few minutes, because I think that's kind of weird to be honest, but I'll talk about that. Kickstand on this could be tilted a bit more because the scooter is quite vertical as it is standing So it can actually tip over on its right side quite easily So that, sh that could be changed to be honest to make it better Again has indicators lights every single thing you want It has this cool kind of design here that I actually really like I like that you know that's a bit different compared to the first version I don't think it had these kind of orange kind of sticker decals here And uh, of course there's your suspension and the wheels have changed on this model as well they look kind of like an alloy wheel on a car for example and uh, yeah no complaints of course again you have this funny looking kind of basket here but enough talking about it let's break it down to detail tell you what I like and dislike about this latest version of the C1 Pro now you might remember a good while back on the channel I reviewed the Q Kieran C1 Pro that I actually did like. Well, this is the updated version that Kukiran have sent me to review. So huge thanks to them. And it is linked below in the description. But let's talk about what's kind of different about this Kukiran C1 Pro version 2. Well, most of the specs are actually the same. You have a 500 watt rear motor that is actually quite good with torque. I'm quite pleasantly surprised with that. And it has a peak output of 800 watts. You have the standard front suspension that is quite good. It does the job to be honest you've indicators you have a horn on this you have the thumb throttle mechanical disc brakes but what's different on this model is on the basically the version one you had a storage compartment in the back but on the version two you have this kind of funny looking seat that i'll talk about in a minute you do also get that nice big generous solid wooden deck which is very nice to see and of course you have adjustable handlebars and you have an adjustable seat so whatever height you are this will suit you plus of course you get that basket at the front which is uh okay it's a bit funny looking but some people actually might end up using that for me i wouldn't use it because of the look of it but i just have it on for the purpose of this video to show you what the whole scooter looks like assembled Now, of course, to look at this scooter, it does not fold in half. So, from a portability standpoint, it wouldn't be the best. The only thing you can do on this scooter is, of course, collapse your handlebars into itself. Ooh, really good strong folding mechanism on this. And they just kind of go like this. So, that's what it looks like, kind of collapse. But storage wise, you would need a good bit of storage because it doesn't fold in half. So, you definitely need to keep that in mind. Let's talk about the design, of course, to look at the scooter. Okay, it's not the most attractive looking scooter out there. It's probably one of the more ugly looking scooters out there that have a seat post. And of course, this is only a seated scooter. You could stand, but you probably look a bit funny because the handlebars are not gonna extend that much. So I think, yeah, it's a seated scooter and it's not the most attractive looking. And you will get looks riding the scooter from people. And to top it off, of course, you have the mirrors that you actually get on this. You have a left mirror and a right mirror. They do an okay job, but I've tested so many mirrors on this channel. And these do vibrate as you are riding, so they don't really serve a purpose to see what's behind you. To give you a closer look at the scooter, you have these kind of hard rubber grips that are okay. These are your on-off switches for your lights. Left, right indicators, very good. You have a horn here. The mirrors are very easy to attach, so it's up to you if you want to use them, to be honest. Standard display, you simply hold down this button. Don't mind the flickering, that's just because of the camera. But you do have gears one, two, and three. Three being the highest. This is your adjustable height as well. And uh, your standard mechanical brakes that are actually quite decent on this scooter. One good thing that helps with the stopping power on this scooter is the 160mm rotors that are actually very good. They're not the typical generic ones, so they do give quite good stopping power. You as well have those 14 inch pneumatic tires to have a good side tread. Of course, be careful in the rain, but you do a good job overall, so no complaints there. Again, you have that really nice wooden deck. Of course, it can get slippery when wet, so just be careful, but overall, very nice now let's talk about this seat well of course there has been videos of this scooter from other reviewers with people on the back to be honest 
doesn't really serve a purpose because where is your passenger going to actually put their feet because there's nowhere they could try and put their feet for example on the left on the right hand side of the deck there but mm, personally i wouldn't do that and of course some countries don't allow passengers on electric scooters so you de definitely need to keep that in mind you might be able to buy the version one storage box for the c1 pro which is something that i actually would recommend because i found that quite good on it to be honest so the seat is a no-go for me and the basket is a no-go for me as well seat is yeah it's quite comfortable it's not too bad again you could change it for a better quality one but overall it does do the job led lights at the back rear mud guards front mud guards and of course you have that standard suspension that does quite a good job but in saying all that we really really need to talk about the value of the c1 pro and what you're really getting okay so the spec again 500 watt motor peak output of 845 km per hour top speed i'm getting 40 just because of my weight and the wind today a little bit of wind today decent suspension nice thumb throttle easy ltd display indicators good lights good horn so all good points here from comfort standpoint safety standpoint no issue design aspect doesn't look the best basket is a bit funny rear seat is just kind of strange to me I guess it's I prefer standing on electric scooters nowadays to be completely honest unless you're going really long distances but one of the top selling points of the C1 Pro is of course the 48 volt 26 amp hour battery with a range of up to 100 kilometers so it's actually probably one of the, the best points about the whole electric scooter to be honest and let's talk about the price and I'll talk about who it's for in a second the price that's at right now is actually quite good to be honest Considering what you're getting, you can't really complain to some electric scooters that I've reviewed that have really small batteries and this is quite decent. So you can't really complain about the price. I think it's actually okay if you are looking for an, elect an electric scooter, seated electric scooter only. But who is it for? Well, it's for people who love seated electric scooters. You need to go, of course, longer distances and not have to worry about their battery basically draining of course it's not an off-road scooter because you only have a 500 watt motor you don't have the the torque there for something that's a really really hill climber it will get you up the average size hill but for something crazy no not really i'd recommend something like the q and g3 pro that i reviewed overall though i think it's actually a really good scooter no major complaints at all again seated only electric scooter not for standing and if you don't mind people looking at you because of the way the c1 pro looks well then i think you would actually be quite happy it is linked below and if you want to see my other q kieran scooters that i've reviewed such as the g2 marissa the g3 pro and pretty much every scooter that they do more or less click on the playlist that's shown up on screen right now or click the link in the description in the meantime stay safe and i'll talk to you in the next video